Hello all and welcome back to round three of Hard Space Shipbreaker. Uh, today we're going to be engaging on our actual first real shift. And uh, we'll notice that uh, some of the kind of training we had uh, last time will come into play. Uh, I think I did a lot of approaches incorrectly. Um, and I think that a lot of times I used the wrong tool for cutting. Um, so let's see how we fare once we get some upgrades situated here. We'll get started. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Give us your money. Okay, so looks like uh, we got a couple tools that are pretty much fucked up here. Um, we're going to go ahead and fix them. So, after repair, okay. And the grapples, I could probably get by with that, but I don't want it to break while I'm out there. So, we'll go ahead and fix that just to be kind of proactive. Um, it does look like... Uh, there are conditions on the thrusters and the scanner, so well, let's go ahead and repair this, and as far as upgrades go, um, let's see here, what do we have? Hmm. Okay, so range on that's probably helpful. Um, ooh, grapple upgrades. That's definitely a big one on my books, more tethers. Um, more fuel, faster, that's good, but uh, I think I could probably get away with some grapple shit, so I don't really want to do specter or, uh, thrusters. Um, more scanning, uh, helmet's got some upgrades, yep. Durability, sound. Okay, um, <clears throat> tough choice, but I'm going with helmet. Um, I'd rather I'd rather have better O2 capacity because I, I think that I think that's a bit low to start with. So I'm going to upgrade this first. Uh, this will allow me to stay in the field longer. So we'll start with this. Cool. Uh, that only leaves us with the 125 left. I don't even think the cutter was that cheap, and that was one of the cheapest ones. Yeah, it's 150. We're screwed. Okay. So, we're repaired. Let's get into our shift. Uh, catalog. Okay. It looks like we have a number of mackerels in here. Um, what's the different? Oh, okay. So, the total value changes per each one. Um, looking at this, though... I think that swordfish is what we want to go for. Um, we could try cutting this baby apart because it shows the value is higher and the weight's also heavier, uh, or the mass, I mean. Um, so we could either go with that or the first one. And this one's only available for one day, so uh, this one would be around for three. So it's basically one of these three here. This one's the lightest, but the price point's actually more expensive on it. This might actually be the way to go, unless I want to do the swordfish. Um, tough choice. It's a lot more mass, and I don't have enough tethers. You know, let's go with the Encladius. Um, price point's right, and the weight's not as bad. Or the mass isn't as bad, so we won't have to rely on tethers, hopefully. I could be mistaken on this, but we're going to try it. All right. First shift, guys. Uh, we're going to be on 15-minute intervals here, and uh, clock's ticking. All right, Cutter. Now that you've completed your training, you're only about a billion credits away from paying off your debt to length. I know the thought of making 10,000 credits, let alone a billion, sounds impossible right now. But I can assure you it is within your reach if you put in the work. You've got the DNA to be a great salvager one day. Literally. Your report here says your blood work confirmed ideal genetic makeup, physique, intelligence, and the psychological profile for the position of shipwrecks. I'm guessing that means Lynx thinks you're less likely to blow yourself up. Hmm, good to know. Let's see if they're on to something. Complete your work order and return here to your hab when you're ready for another ship. And careful with that reactor. One false move and you're a goner. 
and a whole lot of credits poor. Good luck, Cutter. We were out. That's funny. Not only am I dead, but it's going to cost me money. All right, so we got the nacelles off. Those should be docking down there. I think I. There we go. I think I heard them both go in. So cool. All right, cycling the airlock, getting inside. Time is ticking. Time is money. Uh, all right, so we got data drive. Ooh, some repair packs. Grab these babies off the wall. Looks like we do have some O2, a medical pack. Uh, yeah, so not not too bad. Let's go ahead and cycle the airlock. That should decompress the outer area. We need to begin our cuts in here. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing, is I'm I'm staying in oxygen right now because if you notice, my O2 timer is not decreasing. So this allows me to do some basic cuts in here and get things started. Um, thing we want to be aware of is we do not want to decompress. If we do, we're fogged. So okay, that should be some basic cuts there to get us started. I think we're good. Uh, let's go ahead and cycle it. Air pressure level decreasing. Okay, we are now depressurized. Our oxygen timer is counting down. So first thing I want to do is let's get our cuts done in here. This will get these out the door. Looks like they're raising up. All right, I'm going to push these. And I believe these are both processor. Well, this one might be furnace. To look at them. This one's definitely a processor. And this one here is actually. Yeah, it's it's a furnace. That's different. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and knock it. Wow, we got no force on this thing at all. Go, baby, go. Alright, so this is going towards the processor. So let's get up on it. Go. Cool. Raw material process. Credits All right, we're taking the door off for the reactor. Come on, baby. This is another processor piece, so we're going to throw this toward the processor. Oh, yeah, there's some force. All right, now I want to get the floor out in here so I can get the uh, thing straight down. So we're going to do four cuts. And hopefully that gets us the floor out. There we go. And we almost overheated our cutter, but we didn't. So that's solid. Cool. This is going for processor as well. Processor, processor, however you want to say it. All right. She's going. All right. So reactor's loose. Let's get the fuck out of the way because it's going to be dangerous. That's good. Go, baby! Ta -da. All right, we got it. Okay, there's four cuts. That should be the ceiling off. Yep, there it goes. This is a processor. So let's sneak under. And now that's up enough, we're going to go ahead and blast it over to there. Watch out for that hungry ass furnace. All right, uh, so now the floors we need to get out the rest of the way. By cutting the floors at this point, we're opening up our path to the barge. So I think that's all of it. Let's kick them down. Nope, 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 nope. We're missing something. We are missing something. This one appears to be loose, though, so we can knock this one down. We're missing a cut on the other side somewhere, or something is blocking it. Let's get this over to the processor, though. Come on. Let's go down, baby. That should sail. All right, let's look to see what we're missing here. Um, we also have an opportunity to start moving towards a barge. I don't see anything that's linked here. Oh, never mind. There is one. I missed a cut. Done fucked up. 
All right. Pushing this out. I'm finding the thrusters to be very useful for moving since my grapple sucks balls. This will probably get more usable when I upgrade it, but right now, it just kind of feels like I should be trying to push with my suit. It's going to cost me fuel-wise, though, I'm sure. So, all right. We're going to get above this now, and we're going to start delivering content down to the barge. Valuable object processed. Credit awarded. Deposited. The barge does have designated slots. You can see them by the little outlines of blue, but they kind of they kind of blend in. But if you watch, you'll see that it does disappear from the grid when it hits. I noticed that last time. Sorry, right, we're gonna start clearing out the cockpit, reel some stuff in. Let's get this stuff down to the barge. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Hey, I can pull them off. Sweet. Okay. Last time it wouldn't let me do that. All right. Let's get the atmosphere processor. Send that baby down. Ooh, I want that. I think there's one of those on the exterior, too. I'll have to remember to try to grab that when we're back out there. Um, whenever we're back out there. Right now, we're trying to get whatever we can from the interior. Okay. Uh, let's get... Um, let's start with the lower bins. These things are... Hey, I need you to head back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your rope too. That. We've got... Are we that low? Oxygen level stabilizing. Okay. Missed a cut up there, it looks like. Let's get that real quick. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Hopefully they're not going to get mad at me for not obeying that order. We probably need to work, look at our work orders and see if we have to go back for oxygen. Might have to. Nope, we don't. Let's, we can keep the work order up, though, so we can see what we're required to do. Alright, I don't like fucking with electronics. These things have a tendency to melt my face. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Especially when you touch them on things like that. Oh, get out of here. All right, I'm going to look around real quick. Uh, we'll probably finish off the cockpit next. Let me come out here and get the outer shell. Yep. Okay. Toss that in the corner over there. Hopefully that hits. I think we missed. Pretty sure we missed. Fuck. All right. Um, let's try to loosen these a little bit. Get the light off here so it doesn't shock anything. They're worth a little bit of money, probably. Salvage secured. Nobody Account takes apart applied. a starship for the bulbs, you know? If you do, you got a hell of a job, dude. All right, uh, let's put that in the corner. Cool. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Atmosphere processor. I saw it. Yep, handle in here. Let's pull that off. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Okay, um, and I, here's where I made mistakes last time. Let's see if we can fix this. Cutter, there's five minutes remaining in this shift. Get in while the getting's good. We were up. So these are seals that allow us to look inside to see what can be cut. We gotta be careful though, because there are fuel tanks back there, power cells and other things, and we don't want to hit one. Alright, so let's peek in here and see what we see. That's the airlock right there, so there's not gonna be anything there.
Hey, it's loose. Look at that. Excellent. All right, so a little pushy pushy there, and we figured out what we were dealing with. Let's throw it up here. Excellent. All right, let's get some tethers attached to this bitch. I think that's going to the processor. So put one right here, central, and go. Same thing back here. I don't think we're going to move the airlock right now. But we can at least get what's next to it, hopefully, here. Which, yep, there we go. Nice little push there. We'll do the same thing here. We'll get a central line. Sender. Caution. Tether supplies running low. Yeah, no, no shit. I got, like, seven. Pulling off the fuel tank. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Didn't even hear that thing hit. All right, let's cut here. It's looking like the O2 upgrade was a good idea because we haven't had to go back. And that's been honestly really good. Running short on time though. And we want to make sure that we use our tethers. So let's push off what we can here. Looks like two, three. Is there anything inside here we're worried about? We got two minutes. Hey, the keys. Ooh, piece of candy. All right, we want to use our tethers. Uh, we only got two minutes. These scan going to take a time to move. So let's get them moving. Go, baby, go! All right, I think we can get this fuel tank off in time. Ha! I twisted it. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Alright, Cutter. Wrap it up. You got about a minute left. Looks like where our shift's going to end before the air runs out, which is good. Grab what we can here. Okay, um, let's look at what we did here. I think I think we just literally cut through this son of a bitch pretty damn well. The question is, do we want to go back? Um, I don't know if the, that piece will sail in or what. So I kind of want to complete this ship, but at the same time, I think we just blew through a shift like a boss here. Um, we got the work order, which is the important thing here. Um, from what I understand, the only thing we missed that was truly valuable, and I, I fucked up on this, and I know I did, is getting the engine out. Um, I left the engine in. That's a very pe expensive piece of equipment, but I don't know if it's 500k expensive. Considering what we just did inside of 15 minutes, that was fast. Um, looking here, uh, looks like we caused a few problems here with a couple small things, but we got the power cell, which was one of our work order items here, uh, right here. 
and we get the reactor, which is another work order, and we also got both of the other tasks completed. Um, so looking at that, we do still have an O2 tank out there that might be helpful for us, but everything delicious off this this thing has been done. Um, we missed the engine and the engine plate. I think that was probably the only two things from the last run that I learned that are like pricey. Um, the reactor, we can see is 500K. That's that's the shift right there. So if we go back, we're not going to have that. It's going to cost us money. So I think we I think we should probably wrap that one. Um, yeah, I don't think it's worth going back for just the nano carbon uh, plating in the airlock and then also the the engines. I don't think that's going to cover the cost. Good morning, shipbreaker. Give us our money. Okay. Um. Yeah. And the loan interest is just killing us right now. So, 649000 I don't think that there's enough money in that ship left to, to get back. Especially after what we saw for the actual value of the shift. It, we might gain four hundred k because I think it was like three mil. Um, so, yeah. Not worth our time. Uh, we do have work order objectives. Let's look at... Oh! We have data. Hey, that gave us some LT. I, I just saw it jump by 100. Um, okay, so we have some audio and... Lynx Rail, gateway to the stars. Let's hear the audio. Falling asleep on the job salvager? That's a great way to lose a limb and or life. Due to binding legal agreements made with the Orbital Safe Workers Union, Lynx cannot encourage the use of illegal narcotics. However, research has shown that when used in moderation, recreational stimulants and micro doses of hallucinogenics can provide salvagers with significant gains in both performance and yield. Furthermore, the Lynx Board of Directors recently voted unanimously to eliminate any and all drug tests for salvage division employees because we at Lynx believe the privacy of our employees is paramount. <laughs> Lynx. Making the world a better place. Okay. <laughs> so, drugs are shown to do better. You're paid on what you do. And they can't encourage you to take drugs because that would be illegal. But they cannot test you for it. <laughs> oh, shit. That's hilarious. This company is something. Um, okay, let's look at our equipment. We damaged our cutter a little bit. Um, this is still about a shift's worth, though, because we, we only did 46%. Uh, grapple lost about 12%. That's good, though. The, the big thing is we got, we got a bunch of LT to spend. Um, and we definitely need some upgrades. So let's look at what we can do real quick, and then we'll wrap up for this video. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking right here, this, this right here is just so important. I mean, this doubles our tethers and then adds plus one. So we're, we are going with this without question, I believe. But, uh, ooh, that's, that's important too. Having extra strength on the grapple. Uh, well, can we have both? Yes, I can have my cake and eat it too. Um, so I, I have 200 and then 150. So I can get both of those upgrades. Uh, thrusters, we did use quite a bit of fuel, but I didn't run out on a shift. And that's something to note. I didn't run out. Um, speed would be nice, but I used the grapple to slingshot myself across. Don't care about scanning. There's no more O2 upgrades. Um, integrity, but I, I, you know, it's only good if you get hit. If you're not planning on getting hit, you know, accidents happen and that sort of thing, but I'm pretty safe, at least for now. The cutter range would be nice, and so would the heat capacity and the cooldown, but those tethers are just so important getting started. Like, I, I don't have them, and I need them. Um, I, I ran out at the end there. I used the last one, and that was, you know, if I decide to move bigger stuff, that's going to be a problem. So we're going to get the tethers here. There we go. And... Yeah, I mean, look at the strength difference here. It's it's like 50% increase on your power. I don't know what it goes up to three times. So yeah, we should probably get it. Cool. 
All right, so that is our upgrades that we've got. We're out of points. Um, our debt is down about four million. Um, that's that's not bad. I mean, it's not good because they're going to be billing us like crazy on interest, but not bad. Wait, what? Oh, down the line we can purchase our equipment to make it cheaper, but it looks like it's locked beyond uh, ranking up. I wonder if that's across the board. Yes. Yes. Rank six. Six is the lowest I've seen. Oh, I think I clicked off the suit. Yeah, eight. Okay. Yeah, so we should probably look at what we're being charged for the rentals. Um, and try to figure out when we get to like six or yeah, I think six was the lowest what we want to buy because I, I, I have no doubt these are going to be expensive. Oh my god there. Yeah, 61. Oh dear god. That's that's a lot of points. All right. Um, okay, so that was our first actual shift in ship breaker. I think next time we might actually just get a new craft because I don't think there's enough uh, salvage left in that beast to go back and get a, another run other than that thruster and the, the cap on it. But I don't think that's going to pay the bill of 600 and some thousand dollars to even go out there. Um, it was nice to have the O2 so I didn't get billed for that. Uh, so yeah, we're going to uh, we're gonna probably move to a new, a new ship next time. Cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. This was round three at Shipbreaker. Uh, See you next time for round four.